Egypt. Oh, and I should preface the whole thing by saying, Laura, you've got to take care of this, please. Um, I should preface everything by saying I couldn't find a whole lot of information about her. So those of you here and at home who like being detectives, I, again, I don't have my mouse available to me. I'm so sorry at my tech illiteracy, but I just, once I'm in the slideshow, okay, so exit. Yeah. You can stop the share at the bottom. No, it's just letting me advance in the slideshow. Let's see if I can get in there. Yes. Okay, Laura's taking them for great. Okay, and then you can start again. Sorry about that, folks. We're going to start again. Folks at home, can you see the slide show? Can somebody just yell out yes? Yes. Okay, great. Here we go. So back to what I was saying, I found very little biographical information about this woman. She looks, from looking at her picture, she looks middle-aged. It's quite beautiful woman. She came with her parents from Egypt. She grew up and was born in Egypt, in Alexandria, and she came with her parents to England in 1970. So she is a British citizen. Again, those of you who like doing detective work, if you can find out more information about her early life, that would be great. Her, the influence of literature in her work shows itself according to this article that I found, in creating timeless artworks that reflect contemporary sentiments of the world. You can see there's an African mask between these two figures in the background. I don't find this to be contemporary looking at all, but perhaps you folks do. I find that her work looks kind of old, as if she were living in the 1930s and 40s in Europe, between the wars. It looks very German expressionistic to me. I don't know. I'm assuming in England, because she calls herself a, a British Egyptian. I don't know what year she was born. But she came to England with her family in the 1970s. So she can't be all that young anymore. She's probably in our, yeah, closer to, well, I don't know. She, from the pictures I found of her, I'd say she's middle age. Yes. Yes. She is a physicist. So she, got her degree in physics. She got a Bachelor of Science degree in physics in London. She got a postgraduate diploma in mathematical physics in 1989. You're gonna get more of a sense of her age now at King's College. And she worked in private tuition, I don't know what that means, and freelance translation while starting studies in art history during including a postgraduate diploma in post-war and contemporary art at Sotheby's 
1997. In 2000, she obtained a Master's of Art in Modern French Studies at Birkbeck College. In 2006, she continued working as a freelancer in the United Kingdom and France. Again, her work reminds me, there's a German expressionist named Kirchner, K-I-R-C-H-N-E-R. -E her work reminds me very much of his. In 2009, she started sporadically attending painting courses in the United Kingdom at RDS. I don't know what that is. Slade Summer School, Heatherly's, and open studio classes in Nice, France. But she prefers to call herself a self-taught artist. Good morning. There is a seat here, Rantika, or you can get yourself another chair. Oh, there's a seat next to Esti. There's a certain naivety or folk art quality to her work. There's a stiffness. The proportions are, are not very natural. For example, the legs from, from the thigh to the knee, the woman on the left, way too short uh, in this image. So they're not accurate proportionally. Her work tends to be a little sad. I don't think she would argue with that herself. What do you guys think? Okay, Bill thinks the work is beautiful. Our model just arrived. Different. Different from Stephanie. Distorted. Distorted from John. It's different. It's not like normal. Okay. Eileen says very different. It's not like normal people. A lot like Francis Bacon. We were to, do you know the German expressionist Kirchner? K-I-R-C-H-N-E-R, -E reminds me of his work. Here's a quote from this same um, article that I was quoting before. And this is, I think this is from the Sotheby website. El Siofi is not mourning the great painters, poets, and composers of the past, but celebrating them. By painting the stories of history, she is remembering them before saying goodbye. There is a mournful quality to her work, I think. Their faces are tinged with sadness. I feel sad when I look at her work. You're muted, Liz.
we can't hear anything. The people at home cannot hear anything. We can hear you. <laughs> Second. Okay, that should work now. Videos. Can you hear us now? Hello, can you hear? Or, yeah. Okay, I'm at Liz's. We missed Liz's uh, uh, whole speech. Yeah, ditto. All right, so Laura, our great tech person, just fixed that. So I was saying her work does look mournful. She calls herself self-taught. You know what? I'm not going to go into the, the play function. We're just going to advance the slides this way. We seem to be having tech problems today. You all can see the slideshow now, right? Yeah. I think okay. the hands are very interesting. Why? Um, the man in the gray jacket, his left hand, his pinky is just so weird. Yes. And his right hand it is also the color. I mean, it looks like it's bleeding. It's quite red, yes. Kind of reminds me of Frank Sinatra for some reason. I don't know why. He does look a little like Frankie. It's the it's the dark hair and the dark brows, I think. All right. Well, the hands are and fingers are definitely distorted, not even close to reality. Yeah. The other guy's hand is also too small compared to the size of the face. Yes, I think he's smoking a cigarette. He's holding a cigarette up to his mouth. But she's most definitely self-taught. Uh, I would not argue with that. And she squeezed them into the space, most definitely. The heads are, are just too big for the body. Maybe she did that on purpose to make it look cartoonish. Or she, the body is too big for the head. Or the body is too small no, for the head. For the head. Yes. Or maybe... As she said, she squeezed the figures in, but Alice said maybe she did that intentionally to make it look a little bit cartoony, or it creates an interesting dynamic in the composition to have it so overfilled like that. I kind of like it. Let's go to the next slide, see how that looks. This one's a little bloody. <laughs> But this comes, I'm sure this is from an opera. Which opera would this be? Because remember, she's inspired by literature and opera. And Maybe Puccini. Could be Puccini. Definitely a clown. Yeah, I forget. I'm not a, I'm not a big opera buff. Pagliacci? Pagliacci, thank you. But it's a beautiful use of red in this painting. The red on the, it's two clowns, right? The clown at the back with the knife. So the red in his costume, the deep red, almost black of the lips, the, the bit of blood on the tip of the knife. And then the red in the clown costume on the bottom really directs the eye from the top to the middle to the bottom right-hand corner of the painting. So it's a beautifully thought out composition. And then the red of the costume against the green background is pretty awesome. Definitely getting a lot of thought and emotion into this image. This one reminds me of, um, just blocked his name. Who's the artist who did the scream? Monk, thank you. What? Of her Egyptian heritage. You think they looked Egyptian. What about these women that very long dark hair could possibly be Egyptian? 
It says Alexandria in this picture. Yes, it's very interesting the way she painted his shoulder in the woman, uh, the top woman, correct? Is that the one you're talking about, Eileen? Yes, the one in the blue bathing suit. I like the way she did that triangular highlight on her shoulder. She really emphasized that. All right, we're going to go through a lot faster. If you have any thoughts, feelings, ideas, please call out. And if you found any more information about her, that would be cool too. She comments on some of the greatest works of art, literature, and music. She references Velasquez, Giacometti, Modigliani in her work. Certainly the long, thin figures remind me of people like Giacometti and Modigliani, whom we've talked about in the past. This one definitely has a haunting, sad quality to it. Very dark picture. as is this. And this. And I should have mentioned right at the top, her paintings are directly influenced by Akhmatova's poetry. I'm sorry? No, she's a poet. Nobel Prize winning poet. And I believe this may be Akhmatova in this picture. Don't you think it looks just like her? Pretty much. I think it's she. That's why I put it at the end. Yes, there's writing at the top, but there's one word I can read. It looks like never, where I have the cursor. Nova, uh, Russian. Akhmatova was a Russian Nobel Prize winning poet. Tamara, am I pronouncing her name correctly? A-K-H... M A T O V A. I like her haircut too. I'm with you. She looks like who is the British actress? Come on, guys. Who am I thinking of? Yeah. Well, she's not that young anymore. It'll come to me. She was in The English Patient. Oh. Emma Thompson? No. She wasn't there? She didn't have a sister, right? It'll come to me. It'll come to me. All right, so that's the end of our slideshow. Here's what we are gonna create today. We are so lucky to have our model with us this morning. We are going to draw Bill. And we are going to practice our figure drawing skills while we take turns, or if you prefer, I read poems. I want to see if the reading of poetry helps us to relax and get into right brain thinking mode. I want 
help reading the poems, though, I guess, so that I can walk around and give people advice on their drawing. Does that work for everyone? Yes, no, maybe? Folks at home, are you cool with this? Sure, you can come over anytime. Haha. <laughs> no, I will come to the screen on occasion to yeah. give you advice or see if you need help. So folks here, all you need is paper and pencil. Those of you who are in the mood though, I brought all different kinds of colored drawing equipment. Guys, if you want to draw images from your phone or use the papers that I gave you or draw anything that you like, you're free to do that. I don't know what I, I thought it was just allergies. And I I've love how you're real when you're So I may wear my nap. You don't have to, because it's whatever it is, we all have it. I would actually prefer not. I'm not going to sit down. If you're wearing it to protect others, then I think you can take it off. It's here to protect yourself. Oh. I don't feel comfortable with that. She's got a mask and she don't wear it. It's called she hers is allergies. She has it all the time. Okay. Of me. Lifetime list. Who? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. What's the last name? No. No, she's French, and I love her. She's not who I'm thinking of. She was in The English Patient. It's a British actress. Was she in Amelie? <laughs> no, Julia Binochet was not in Amelie. It was a much younger girl in Amelie. Um... I'm thinking of it. Her name also may be Juliet, though. Are you thinking of Kristen Scott? Yeah, that's no. the one. No. Who, who said that? Who, it was Courtney, but I don't think it's. Kristen Scott. Oh, maybe it is Kristen Scott with a K, right? Kristen with a K? Yes. Okay. Right. I'm right. You're wrong. Cool. Kristen Scott. <laughs> yes. Excuse me, Eileen, settle down. All right, Bill, now I feel terrible for asking you to take off your mask because I'm coughing like crazy. Yeah, I want you to look sad. And I realize if I read poetry, I lied. You can't look at the book. So I blew it. So you will sing and you will post? I'm going to read poems. Why don't you sing it? <laughs> and I hope folks at home are going to be able to hear me. I guess I have to stand here to read the poems. Yes. And poor Laura didn't know Bill was coming, so she doesn't have the tripod. So give us a minute, folks at home. She's jerry-rigging a system here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. We're going to do like one minute, five minutes, ten? Um, I think we're just going to go right into longer poses. How long have we For this. Let's start with the five minutes. Sure. Please. We're, we're not really going to do warm-ups today. So listen up, everyone. Just
don't worry about accuracy today. I don't want perfection. Mm -hmm. Remember, El Sufi is self-taught. We don't want perfection. Try and think about emotions and feelings today. All right? Mm -hmm. Think about how the poetry is making you feel. But I want you to think about figure. Think about everything you know about drawing the human figure. And capture what you can. And you're going to do five minute poses for starters. Do those big gesture drawings first. Loose, try and loosen up. We won't start just yet. Laura is still trying to get the camera ready. No, don't pause yet. Oh, okay. We are set up. Okay, good. So, Bill, five minutes can be a long time, so it doesn't have to be virtuosic. Folks at home, you, you understand directions? We're going for feelings today, not perfect proportions. And this is a five-minute pose. We're not doing one-minute warm-ups today. And let us begin. Here you would say, the voice of mortals will never echo. Here alone, there grimly rams at sable portals, the gale wind of an age of stone. And I alone seem left to suffer survival in this stark design for having been the first to offer to take a draft of deadly wine. We haven't the knack of parting and shoulder to shoulder, just walk. New day is already starting. You're preoccupied. I don't talk. We enter a church where the fathers wed, christen, send dust to dust. As we leave, we don't look at each other. Why is everything wrong for us? Or we sit on a churchyard thawing, snow sheets sigh lightly and gaze at the mansions your cane tip is drawing, where it shall be we too. Always. My shadow has remained behind there, staying still in the same blue room with its chagrin. It waits a midnight guest from town and praying. Its lips touch on a saint of lacquered tin. Nor is the house now altogether cheery. They light the fire, and yet the place stays dim. Is this why the new lady's eyes look weary? And why the master's, the master keeps the wine by him, and here's the one who's praying, paying me that call, converse with me behind the flimsy wall? It is nighttime, the 21st, Monday. The lines of the city fog furled. Some young ne'er do well improvise one day that there's something called love in the world. And from slackness or out of frustration, all believed it and now followed suit. Make assignments and dread separation and go caroling love songs to boot. Oops. But the truth of the matter will surface 
Oh, excuse me, everyone. Hello. You have to you'll have to come to the library. Okay. 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 Um make assignments and dread separation and go caroling love songs to boot. But the truth of the matter will surface for some in a speechless spell. Um, I chanced on it quite without purpose and ever since haven't been well. Yeah, this is this the way it looked before. It's good enough. Okay. I liked our gatherings and 43 seconds left on this. I liked our gatherings in the nightly world, small table, frosted glasses and decanter, black cups with fragrant vapor over curled, the chimney with its massive winter blast, the stinging zest of literary banter and love's first look, both fearsome and aghast. Spring, the mysterious, still, I'm gonna wait, this is a whole new poem. I hope you like the poetry. Yeah. You don't like it? No, I'm not at the same time. Okay, we'll stop with the poetry then. No, no, no. Is that like music? Listening to music? Listening to well, that's what I was hoping. So we're going to take a vote. How many people liked having the poetry? Raise your hand. Only two people. So we're going to quit <laughs> with the poetry. So... The book is here and available for you to look at if you want to. I think you get a sense of what Akhmatova's poetry was like. It's heavy stuff. And there are pictures of, of her. Those of you who are curious about who she was, there are pictures of her here. And I think there's a little bit of biographical information about her in here as well. The Akhmatova phenomenon says on the first page of the book. Yes. No. Life and life and death and love. All right. And I bet they have books by her right here in the Hoboken Public Library. So this is another five minute pose. Let us begin. You ready, Bill? Yes, this is good. Okay, let's go. I don't want to get close to Bill. He's just getting over a cold. I don't want to make him sick. Mm. But remember the principles of proportions of the human body. Head length. You measure everything on the figure by the size of this head. Notice how many head lengths from the shoulder to the tips of his fingers. Size of his hand, size of his face. Notice the tilt of the shoulders, slightly down on the left, up on the right. His hips are slanted in the same direction. There's a wonderful diagonal slant to the back as well. Nor of the weight of his body is on the left. His left side. Wonderful. So it'd be interesting to know if our artist for today, LCP, read first or had someone read to her while she works. <laughs>
Seven seconds to push. So, Bill, this is going to be the last five minutes. Oh. So, in a minute, even though I was going to be here, and here, everyone's going to say, Me, you bars. Me, you bars. Bill, can you come closer to the camera so we can see more of the picture? <laughs> Funny, Bill. So we all have a tripod. I didn't tell where the deal was. This is good. This is good. Okay, no one has been heard and say. So even well, even guys didn't give a minute. When he walks in the door, everyone, we're going to say, he who bar. He who bar. He who bar. Happy Holy Eve. Happy Eve. He who bar. He who bar. Okay, let's start this one. Holy Mystery. Holy Mystery. Start drawing. Yeah. Now let me see. Please, the design thing is closed by 
This pose is all about gesture. Forget detail. Look at the tilt of the body. Look what the spread is over the left foot. You see the reach of the upper body. If you can get that position, the rest will fall in place. So it's all not be Michelangelo. Uh -huh. Let's do draw all day, every day. You don't have those kinds of skills. <laughs> it's not funny, it's true. And for those of you who don't know or remember, um, we have the afternoon class today as well from one to three. So if you start a project this morning that you don't finish, you can come back. Work. Thirty seven seconds left. Who's a look? Don't move the ones. Who's a look? Look. That's all. Sorry. I'm sorry. Look. One, two, three, I guess. Our arms are long. Okay, the the I always make them fatter than the ears. The arms are a bit long. Everybody, look at me for a second. What? Who can tell me why my arms are? And you see, are you my fingertips are almost down to my knees. Mm. Our arms are long. Try and remember. Yeah, but we we say some people are have long legs, but it's all in proportion to our body. I mean, it appears as if Bill's legs are longer than most, but in fact, they fit with his head size. It's incredible. 
10 minutes? Yeah, we're up to 10 minutes now, so get punchy. Can we one day try to call someone with a physical disability? Absolutely. Do you know a model with a physical disability? No, no. Oh, excuse me, there's someone here. Jester and this one and tilt to the shoulders, lead it. Okay. Well, on the next class, we're going to turn this. Yeah. Oh, I decided you Yeah, yeah. Again, look at the length of his arms. He would not be able to have his hands around his knee if his arms were not long. Hmm. One, two, three head lengths. So depending on how large you make the head, that's going to determine how long his arms are. Terrific. It's more terrific Folks at home, you're doing well? No complaints. I want to put in the chat box. Oh, Stephanie had to leave. I'm still here. Oh, good. I saw your name. Oh, you put... Oh, I 
Julia Binoche. Okay. No, I think it is Kristen Scott Thomas was the actress I was thinking of. Oh, okay. So Dina L. Siufi is our artist for today. And the poet is Anna Ach. Matova is our poet. And it is, it's also Arab American History Month, and we had Ibu here. We anyone else I should have said Eid Mubarak to everyone. covered all our bases today. Ibu, like all Muslims all over this world, was up at the crack of dawn today to go say prayers with thousands of other people. If you ever get the chance next year to go to early morning Eid prayers in Jersey City, it's, it's beautiful. Thousands and thousands of people. In, you know, they go to Lincoln Park. They pray outside if it's, you know, warm like today. They also go to the mosque, but most people go outdoors. How do you celebrate Eid? Eid is E I D. No, celebrate. How do you, How celebrate? Do you celebrate? How do you celebrate? So they pray first, everyone prays together, and then they eat because they've been fasting during so the daytime eat. hours for months. They eat the A lot of sweet food. Well, today. Today they'll they'll eat sweet food, lamb, yeah. roasted lamb is very popular. Is it this, this is the this final is the final. day. This is like they this is the celebration of yeah, this is a big eat. celebration. Yeah, they pick out. They really pick out. Yes. It's Jewish wife. <laughs> I mean, we went to the halal butcher in Jersey City, and I bought a leg of lamb. Shoulder, actually, we bought a whole shoulder of lamb. What is your ask, guys? Why do you celebrate me? Do I celebrate it? No, but I know. I have some. Yeah. I think chicken. Chicken noodles, so yeah, Passover is yeah. my holiday. <laughs> so many holidays this time of year. Crazy number of holidays. But the children, guys, the children get a lot of sweets today. This, this is a big celebration. This is a fun day for Arab, Muslim. I should not say Arab. Muslim children. <clears throat> yes, Ibu is not an Arab. He's an African Muslim. Mm -hmm. And there are Muslim people all over the world. The, one of the largest Muslim countries on earth is Malaysia. Mm -hmm. They are not Arab. Mm -hmm. They're not Arab. Indonesia is also one of the largest Muslim people. And there are a lot of Muslim people in the United States. All different ethnicities.
folks. Remember to look at who you are drawn to. Less at your own drawing, more at the model. Very good. Very good. Okay, so it's not just a little wider in Look at this. It's nothing, nothing on any of it. It's a very This is one of your best. So put a line here. It separates his chest and the Yeah, yeah, Bill's going to take a break now for a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah, too bad you're gone. Thank Every you. time I start with something, I don't see it. Yes, sir. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Folks head home. Bill is taking a short break. He'll be pausing again in just another minute.
Sometimes they're left best left undone. Okay, we're gonna do another yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay, so this was our second. This would be the second. Okay. So this would be the third. This would be the third. So let's do a fifteen minute one. But let's do a twenty minute that brings us also when the third end with it. Let's do a fifteen minute, then we might end with a twenty minute. So this is going to be 15 minutes. Those of you, if you're looking just at his back, oh, that's what's showing on the screen as well. Um, no, it's good practice to draw the back as well. I like that. Try to see now I'm, I'm worried yeah. for them to do a 20 minute post to take a bath. Yes. I'm checking that. That's so I'm wondering. So should I be there? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that's I'm what I'm trying to do. Let me see what they see. That's great. Yeah, that's cool. Let me walk all the way around, Bill, before we set it in stone. Okay. Yeah, I think we can work with this. Yeah. All right. So let's begin. What did I say? This is 15 minutes? No, yeah. you said 20. No, 15. Uh, 20 minutes. Okay. Can you hold that for 20? Let's start with 15. Okay. This is 15 minutes. And begin. Big gesture first. I mean, for those of you who need a review of the gesture, where did they go? Don't worry about the details in his face in the beginning. Try and capture the movement of the whole thing. And let me show you. Thank you. 
And so you just try to get the movement of the thing. Once you've done that, then you can go back and start adding these. <laughs> I'm just going to show you another. Well, we have a little training music. 
Anything Sam first started to reach at the side and get another person. Start all over again. Folks at home, everyone's okay? Yes. Quiet on the home front. Yes. This is supposed to be the So is this the for the button? So yeah, it's the beginning. It's the beginning. Well, then it goes over. Yeah, I was just thinking that same thing. Yeah.
still you have a little under three minutes to go. Oh, you'll get good, 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 That's what I would do. Go ahead, small. Stop. Yes, we keep four seconds. Okay. Suppose it's just about done, everybody. We're down with this one? Yes. We have it in 10 minutes, so it should have 11 minutes. <laughs> and a wiggle around a little bit first. Uh -huh. This will be the last one. Anyone who really wants to challenge themselves, if you've been doing the figure, now try just doing portrait, just doing the face, and vice versa. If you've been only doing the face, try doing the figure. Um, Not sure how we want to do this. Um, screen and stuff. Um, well, it's Let's face the canvas. Thanks. Mm -hmm. 
Well, with short and pause, but remember to start with that chest roll very loose. If you're doing full figure, start with a very loose sketch. If you're doing portrait, start with the oval. Figure out where the features go. Before you go back in to do any detailed work, those of you at home, if you've been doing the full figure, and you really want to challenge yourself now, try, forget what I just said, try doing just the face and vice versa. If you have been focusing just on the face, do full figure, swap out what you've been doing and try doing the reverse for the last 10 minutes. It's gotten a little chilly in here, right? Yeah, it gets hot and it gets cold. I don't know if you know, Liz, but we can only see from the chest up. That's, we are working under a constraint here today. Yes, this is, this is really ideal at the moment. I mean, mostly we see the ceiling, so. <laughs> this is what we can do for you today. Okay, no biggie. And this is my fault. It was last minute that I asked Bill to be our model, and Laura did not know he was coming, so we have no tripod. And she has jerry-rigged a setup for the camera, and she's done beautifully for us today. So major thank yous to Laura for many reasons. If I had been more aware, I would have brought my tripod this morning, but I neglected to do that as well. I, you know, I think we're incredibly lucky to have a model for free. There's nowhere on this planet that you can do life drawing for free. I'm The more you do, the easier it becomes. Like any yeah. skill, the more you draw, the more you will learn to see what's in front of you. I I can bring uncut paper and you can work really much. And then email for mine. That's the first thing that you can draw. I'll see you next week. Can you even see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see
Summer was all night. Folks at home, you're good. This will be our final pose. And Bill, you have just 13 seconds left. All right. So I can't remember who shared first last week, but first kudos to Bill. Thank you for coming in at the last minute. I think we're gonna start sharing, sharing from home first today. Um, and Margo, you're first up. And I would ask that folks here, if you would 
refrain from cleanup until we finish looking at the artwork from people at home. So if you could just hold on. I was finishing something I started yesterday, but it was a detail of uh, oh gosh. Michael Michelangelo's God's David. hand. Wow. Oh, no, it's the David's hand. Okay. David. <laughs> Very nice. You, you are really learning how to do shading. Yeah, I'm focusing on it. <laughs> it's getting that it's gelling. <laughs> okay. Well, well done, Margo. Thank you. And this is just pencil. Yep. An eraser. <laughs> we all need that eraser. But you're using eraser for the highlights? Yeah, for the veins and things like that. Yeah, for the highlights. Excellent. Thank you. Do you have a stump? Yes. Yeah, you want to you want to keep blending with the stump. Mm -hmm. Some of the areas are are still a little harsh where you go from dark to light, and mm -hmm. it's still making it a little flat. And I think if you blend a little bit more, it's going to increase the three dimensional quality. Even it's going to make it even more dramatic. Yeah. Okay. So beautiful, beautifully rendered. Thank you, Margo. Bravo. And Courtney. Um, well, all my quick sketches were just Bill's head. So then I found another figure online to do. Wow. Nice. Wow, 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 wow. Again, I would I would have the same suggestion. I would do blend your shadows more. I know it's a work in progress, so yeah. And maybe do a little bit of shading behind this person to define her a bit more. I think it's a female, so yeah, really nice. The proportions excellent. Well done, Courtney. And gosh, it looks like we've lost Susan and Stephanie might have had to leave early. Yeah, there's something in the chat. Yeah, Stephanie had to go. Okay. Ephriastic poetry. Poems written about works of art. Oh, this is interesting. Um, oh, thank you, Stephanie. I wish I'd known this was here earlier. Um, ekphrastic poetry has come to be defined as poems written about works of art. However, in ancient Greece, the term ekphrasis was applied to the skill of describing a thing with vivid detail. One of the earliest examples of ekphrasis can be found in Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, in which the speaker, oh gosh, it's not finished. Well, in the Iliad, the speaker is the narrator of the whole poem. Right? It's a, about Odysseus. The story of Odysseus is the Iliad. How interesting. Well, thank you, Stephanie, in absentia. Thank you very much. All right. So that's folks at home. Is there anyone here today who wants to share what they created? Yeah, here comes Gage. Okay, come on up. And you can hold, I'll hold it while you talk about it, okay? Will you explain this beautiful painting? Yeah, uh, it's just uh, 
my TV uh, has like a screensaver. It's basically that. And what made you choose these colors? Uh, I just, when you think of outer space, that's what it is. Okay, sure. It's a theme of space. I like all the line action that you have in the bottom half as well. It's very, a lot of movement, very interesting movement and texture in this painting. Well done, sir. And then Thank you signed you. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you signed it too, Gabe. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> well done. Daniel, you want to share? Daniel's been very busy today. He did a lot of drawings. Do you have a favorite? The last one. The last one. Okay. Definitely a lot of feeling in these drawings today. This, this is my particular favorite, this one here. I think he really captured the way Bill looks. Yeah. It's a lot of what we call foot sweat. To draw in charcoal. Bravo. Next is Alice. Yay. Alice is drawing sure. some bill. So can I say this? Alice really does the full figure. She's a portrait person for the most part. So I'm really proud of her efforts today. Bravo. Well done. Here comes Ace. Okay, come on up, Ace. Ace is focused on the eclipse. It made a lasting impression, eh? Right? The eclipse. I love this painting. This is cool. Well done. Yay. Anyone else for sharing today? Nicola, you don't want to share? Oh, Yours are so cool. Beautiful color in these. I think you got it. Gorgeous color, right? So she drew in pastel. That also takes, I think, quite a bit of courage. Here, I can hold it. Okay. This yeah, one, this one actually is my favorite pastel. of all the ones that she created today. Um, I'm also learning the trick of creating the background to uh, silhouette, silhouette your thing. Nice. Also great. That hat, that's a good hat. Yeah. Uh, these are the first ones. I like this one over here. Interesting little pose, like he's just coming in the room or something. Um, yeah, this one's probably not quite done, but the eyebrows are cool. I like how you kind of create planes, flat planes on the face. That's what I was practicing. Almost architectural. Well done. John is coming up. All right. John also went for color today. It's kind of hard to figure out where to stand and hold. Well done. You captured the gesture of the poses very nicely. I love the color, and I love that you're working on the background as well. Thank you. Like the dark outline. Terrific. I didn't want to overstate the contour of the drawing so i didn't go everywhere with the dark line right didn't want to overwhelm your your drawings uh, well done as well thank you anyone else i saw a lot of great drawings today 
All right. Well, so we've come to that dreaded time of cleanup, I guess. And do remember, there is an afternoon class today as well. Those of you who want to repeat this class this afternoon, you can leave your artwork right where it is and come back to do more. Otherwise, you must clean up. Afternoon, folks, obviously. I mean, those of you at home, if you're coming back in the afternoon, obviously you can leave your materials as well. Goodbye, Thank goodbye, you. goodbye. Thank you so much, Bill. You were awesome. Yeah, that would have been perfect. But Bill won't be here this